so I just saw this at the fish market. $150 for some two kilos of cherries. Now, would you pay $150 for two kilos of cherries? Now let's close the door. Let's see. Whoa. Fascinating mirror. I've never seen anything like this before. It looks so weird. But first, I'm gonna try the sushi taco. Ooh, this is super nice. What the hell? Almost six dollars for a kilo of bananas. Another thing I noticed about Sydney, it's so clean. I don't see any trash on the ground. Like literally, I see zero trash. I totally wasn't expecting this. But the Star Hotel, the entrance, it's even cooler at nighttime. Hello from Sydney, Australia. I'm so, so excited to be back in this wonderful city. It's been 10 years since the last time I was here. Yeah, time flies. But anyways, it's midday right now. My hotel doesn't check in until three o'clock. So I have like three hours to kill before I actually get to go inside my hotel room. So in the meantime, I was like, you know what, I might as well just explore the area outside my hotel. And later on, I want to give you a hotel tour. I've never been inside the hotel myself, but on the looks of it, it looks pretty cool. So I'm excited to give you a hotel tour in a little bit. But in the meantime, here is the harbor right outside my hotel. Beautiful, isn't it? I have to say Sydney looks a lot different from the last time I was here. It's completely transformed. This wasn't here before when I was here. Now, at least not that I know of, but wow, this place is super awesome. I love it here. The hotel I'm staying at, it's called The Star. This very cool, modern five-star hotel in Sydney. Super excited. It's actually my first time staying in this hotel. That's why I want to give you a hotel tour. It's a tour for me and with you. It's three o'clock right now. So I am about to check in. Finally, I've been waiting for a couple of hours. Okay, super excited. I want to see what it looks like. Now to walk in. So my room is located on the sixth floor. Okay, so let's go inside. Now let's close the door. Let's see. Whoa. This looks so pretty. Nice big TV. There's a table and there's a long couch for me to sit on. The view is pretty cool. Get to see some of the buildings. I love this king-size bed here. So cool. And I love the modern interior design. Very nice. There's a mini bar where I can make my coffee or tea. Oh, what's up here? Okay, condiments. What's down here? Interesting. Case. It's a mini fridge. Nothing inside this drawer. Now let's quickly check out the bathroom. Whoa! What bathroom is this? I love the design. It's very bougie. Very nice. Big shower. Fascinating mirror. <laughs> Just in case you're wondering how much this hotel costs per night, the average daily rate for this hotel goes for about $250 a day. 
So far, I really like this hotel room, but of course, I have to finish the tour by showing what other facilities this hotel has. So, without further ado, let's go check it out. Okay, let's go in. Ooh, this is super nice. Very nice pool. I love the view from this hotel. Love these modern high rise. This is basically a sky garden. It's been at least 15 years since the last time I saw a ping pong table. This is so freaking cool. And it's right in the Star Hotel. Well, I'm not any good at it, so I'm not gonna play. This is like a full size gym. Wow, I can't believe this. I'm watching my own clip on the treadmill. <laughs> Rolex. We're back to the main entrance. This is where you check in. Versace, Versace. I didn't know Din Tai Fung is like a global brand now. But I'm not gonna eat at Din Tai Fung. I just saw the prices. Wow, it's outrageous. It's at least like 50% more than the price I used to pay back in LA. I'm on my way to Piermont Fish Market. Here I am, Sydney Fish Market at Piermont. Oh, there are many people walking in that direction. The fish market, it's so lively. It's, and you can buy so many like different kind of seafood, pre-cooked, fried, sashimi, whatever you could think of. It's right here in the fish market. So right now I'm at the sashimi bar. We can buy some sashimi there or we can buy some raw seafood. And right now I see you can buy some king crab legs for $95 a kilo. All right, so $32 for a dozen of oysters. Do you see this? What on earth is this? Morton Bay Bugs. I've never seen anything like this before. It looks so weird. It looks like something out of the Alien movie. Other than that, they have like lobster, scampi for $100 a kilo. And right here, you can buy some salmon for $38 a kilo. All right, that salmon is kind of expensive, $38 for a kilo. I remember back in the US where I buy for 15 US for a kilo, like literally half the price. So I just saw this at the fish market, $150 for some two kilos of cherries. Now, would you pay $150 for two kilos of cherries? This looks interesting. Sushi taco. I've had so many tacos before, but never had a sushi taco. So I'm gonna get try this one. Ooh, these looks so good too. Like this sushi right here. But first, I'm gonna try the sushi taco. Because that's the most interesting one. Oh, actually, I think it's deep fried seaweed. Let me try it. Mm. Yeah, this is delicious. I love the crunchiness. A lot of good sauce in there. Very fresh. Salmon is super fresh. I mean, just like the size of the sushi here, it's massive. Even though it's like four dollars for sushi, but this size is totally worth it in my opinion. I've actually never had sushi grow this big before. It's like literally, it's like quarter of my size of my head. Mmm. Super good, super good. It's so fresh, the seafood. I believe this is scallops with um, fake shakes on top. Mm. So good. Next one. This one, I eat it a lot. It's basically eel on top. Not as well as the I thought mm. you were gonna eat all that. I love the eel. I always love eel. I love that taste. Now I'm gonna have a oyster, but they put seaweed and some fish eggs in the oyster. Okay, this looks good. Mm. Very fresh. It has that 
very unique oyster taste to it. All right, three more sushis to try. I've had this many times before. Tofu skin wrap sushi. Hmm. Like whatever the sauce they put with the salmon, it's like they killed it. It's extremely, extremely good. Next one, I'm gonna try a sashimi sushi roll. It's literally wrapped with um, with salmon sashimi with um, fish eggs, different colored fish eggs on top. Hmm, yeah. interesting. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, I mean, have another bite, so I have a better idea. Hmm. I really don't know what this is. It's sushi rice, but this is like super mushy sushi rice that I've ever had. It's so like mushy. That's almost like mashed sushi rice in a way. I'm gonna do something super local that I've never done in my videos before. I'm gonna do grocery shopping in Sydney, Australia. Why not, right? Since I'm talking about the cost of living, I might as well show you guys what stuff here costs in the grocery store. All right, so I'm gonna check out this grocery store, which is right next to my hotel. Okay, so grab a basket. All right, so right now I'm in the fruit section. As you can see, 7.75 for a kilo of, of apples. Seven dollars for a kilo of oranges. What the hell? Almost six dollars for a kilo of bananas. Six sixty for two liters of milk. So three thirty a liter. What on earth? Sixteen dollars for a kilo of chicken breast. This is crazy, yo. I remember paying two dollars for a kilo of chicken breast in OA. Here in Australia, Sydney. $16. <laughs> At least the bread here is somewhat similar to what I'm used to being. It's so awesome to be back in Darling Harbor after so many years. But I still remember most of it the last time when I was here. Mm, definitely tons of improvements. A lot more dirty, <laughs> I have to say. Yep, Sydney definitely has changed a lot for the better. This is so freaking awesome. The Sofitel, the W Hotel. I always love Sydney, but I love it more now. I don't know why about it. It just feels like I love the energy, the vibe. You know, people here are super friendly. I've talked to a few locals already and they're super friendly, very polite, very outgoing. I mean, Sydney has always been this mega diverse mega modern city but it's even more now like it's even more modern more diverse oh one thing i noticed about sydney now it's so much more expensive than it used to like just for example like one dish easily costs to 25 to 30 australian dollars now i am at king street wolf okay so let's continue this journey and explore a little bit more going down there. Another thing I noticed about Sydney, it's so clean. I don't see any trash on the ground. Like literally, I see zero trash. It's so clean. All right, I love this architecture here. Now the question is, can you travel to Sydney on a budget? Mm, difficult. Very difficult. <laughs> Everything in it is, is expensive, even more expensive than LA. Not as expensive as New York, but definitely very expensive. The food is like outrageously expensive, in my opinion. Um, the rent, I don't know, because my hotel costs like 250 a night, so that comes out to be pretty pricey, I <laughs> have to say. So yeah, so Sydney is definitely one of the nicest cities I've ever been to and is definitely 
should be on your bucket list. But just make sure that you budget accordingly when visiting Sydney because it will put a dent in your wallet very quickly. So budget wisely. I totally wasn't expecting this, but the Star Hotel, the entrance, it's even cooler at nighttime. If you enjoyed watching today's video, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I will see you in my next video.